<laughs> Why are you getting angry at me? Because Zoom don't work. Because you couldn't figure this shit out. Fucking, you know what? Actually, I'm going to start out with this. It took you longer to get this thing up and running than our last episode lasted. 23 minutes. I think I'm like 34 minutes into you finally got this shit working. Yeah, well, I'm incredibly incompetent when it comes to technology. I was very angry just then. Nothing would work, dude. Restarting, upgrading Zoom. Everything fucking sucks. Everything's fucking difficult. Yo, you need a new password. Oh, you got to do this. Get fucked. It's the same you, you computer. Know, it used to work. Yeah, but you noticed the guy in the United States and not the third world country was ready to go right away. Yeah, but I've got hair, so it's harder. You're wow. bald. you got less to do. It doesn't take me as long to take a shower in the morning. How long does it take you to have a shower? Uh, I mean, if I really hustle, I mean, I could get it done in probably about seven minutes, six minutes. Dude, why does it take that long? It's a one-minute job. Yeah, it's a one-minute job to a guy who is never clean. I, I mean, just look. Just look at your feet right now. There's no way they're clean. It's somewhat clean. I haven't worked for two days, so... I'm stuck inside in this rain-soaked hellscape. Two days, so they're not very dirty at all. You, you, two days, come on. Two years, two days, come on. Dude, seven minutes. That, that's unacceptable because you basically, you get in, you get wet, you soap your body. I don't bother with anything below my knees anyway. I can't reach down there. Fuck it. And then you just wash it off. That's a minute. You get out, you get dry. What are you doing in there? Yeah, but you're 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 telling me you're taking like three showers a day. So I, I don't even Correct. get that. Maybe just wash yourself good once and you're because good you to don't go. do anything. You need a shower in the morning before you get going, right? Like you need to wake up in the water for a minute just to get going in the day. Then you work and I get filthy at work, come home sweaty, have a shower. Maybe take a nap and, you know, maybe go play cricket with the boy. Then I'm dripping in sweat again. So you got to have another shower. Uh, You're sitting in an uh, office all day in air-conditioned comfort. You don't understand the real world. People go outside air here. Air-conditioned comfort? What are you talking about? Does your vehicle have air conditioning? Like vehicle? Like everybody's vehicle has air conditioning. Mine doesn't. Yeah, but we've seen your car. You're, you're, you're lucky that you don't end up in a flaming ball going down the highway in that death trap. Or in a river, right? You know how these rivers are dangerous. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. Funny is that because we've had a lot of rain and I was going across the bridge and I thought to myself, you know, he probably really has a point because I'm like, if if something were to happen and it would be a freak accident, but if I went in and just some craziness happened, I'm like, really, like, anything I would have to break a window is like all the way in the back of the car because like I, the car is pretty clean. So, yeah, I, I was like, you know what? I, I really hate to say it. He's probably got a point right there. Of course I've got a point. And people go, oh, you can buy these things that you you break the glass and you just have it in your console or whatever, but or your glove yeah, box. But but... Yeah, yeah, but you're not, you know, but when it's just hitting the fan, you're not going to go like, oh, let me let me uh, root around exactly. down here and see if I can suck. Yeah. Yeah, shit's flying around it. the car. You're half concussed. It's got to be something. you got muscle memory. It's right at your hand. Oh, a hand crank to open my manual windows. What a great idea. You guys are reckless. Yeah. I think about it every day. I was driving today past the river, and, of course, as you know, my tires have got no tread on it, and that was slipping a bit on the wet road. And I thought, if I end up in the river, I'm going to be pissed off. But now, now let me ask you, how often do you open your car windows, though? I mean, is it reliable? Because there's not a lot I see Every day. reliability Every day. in that car. Every, Every day. day. Because, yeah, because as you're aware, I've got no air conditioning. 
So my air conditioning is the window down and hot air blowing on my face. Well, have you ever have you ever had to replace anything like the regulators in the windows or any like they, it's always worked. You've never replaced anything. What regulator? Like the thing that that's what puts the window up and down in there. That's what it's called. Like you you've never the had regulators. to replace that. No, the, the regulator is probably the electric motor system. It's so, just a so, gear but, with a crank. But but don't you think it would be kind of poetic justice that when shit hits the fan, because I'm sure, you know, you, your shit breaks a lot on your car. At that point, wouldn't that be funny if that's the point that your your crank window, something and it breaks when you really need it. That I think that would be awesome. Well, there's an obvious solution. I just reach over the passenger side and wind down that window. Yeah, that's true. The odds of both windows failing simultaneously seem unlikely. Yeah. You should yeah, do it again. I've thought this through, dude. I think you should just come around to my way of thinking. I don't even know if I, you know, I really don't even know if you could buy a car with manual windows anymore. I was thinking about that too, and you're you're right. I don't think you can. But what we need to do is invent or pay some loser to invent a way to put a hand crank override into modern vehicles. So, like, you, you, now you guys still have mostly everything's a, a manual transmission, right? No, nah, not not anymore. I think most would be automatic yeah, now. Automatic. You can, you can still buy it. You can still buy vehicles manual if you want. A lot of people do. Yeah. I don't think it, I mean, I don't know because, you know, I'm not a fancy man buying a lot of cars, but I don't know how many uh, cars on a lot. I'm sure, you know, those guys that drive those stupid Subarus or whatever, you know, they think they got the little race cars. I mean, maybe they're, they're manuals. I don't know, but I bet you a majority is everything's automatic. We're trying to find Big Lou a, a a a manual, and we were went to look at something today, but I don't know if it, it wasn't there. It might be sold a little Jeep, and he said, "Well, what is it?" I said, "It's a five speed." Well, I don't know how to drive it. I said, "Well, you're not going to be like the rest of the limp dicks in this country. You're going to learn." And he's like, "But there's not much manual anymore." I said, "Yeah, but you could still learn. You don't want to be that guy." So we're on the hunt to, to try to find one. I can see both arguments for this because, you know, the young guys, you know, all cars will be driving with AI or robotics soon. You wonder what the point is. We're just clinging on to what we knew. But, I mean, it's like your great-grandpop saying, you know, you don't know how to ride a horse and have a horse and cart and how to hitch a cart. And, you know, that's lost because it's redundant. Yeah, but I do know how to ride a horse. Can you hitch a cart and look after a team? Big Big Red could. She she did racehorses. My sister, did they do really? race. They, they yeah. Was she a so, jockey? Yeah. No, she was. Uh, she she no, she was more in the uh, the uh, breeding and raising of the standard of the you know of the uh, horses. But she fucked the horse. Did she? Jesus, dude. You ever, you ever see how that stuff goes? It's, it's fucking. It's a whole weird thing. I don't really ask a lot of questions. Well, we when I grew up on the farm, we had like probably twenty to thirty horses at one time, but they're all brood mares, and the mares would be sent away to the stallions of the owner's choice. But we never got involved in the sexual nature of the the breeding, and then they'd come back pregnant and stay on our farm, and then they'd have the foals. So I miss that whole sex ed. They well, I think you've kind of figured it out. Yeah, I mean, you know. figured it out. I mean, you, you have a couple of kids, so I guess you did okay. Yeah, but I'm not a horse. So it could be different. They could use different yeah. techniques. I don't, I don't know. know. I, grew, I saw one horse video at a certain... Um, comedy show um at somebody's house a horse video yeah some other dude he never i i don't know if they ever saw him again he just kind of 
walked what, away. Why are you watching horse know. porn for? What the fuck is wrong well, with you? I'm not watching it. Somebody well, you was just told me you to watched us. it. Well, somebody was showing it. You're some in some guy. sick shit. There's some sick <laughs> shit out there. <laughs> hey, I wanted to um, ask you how your Christmas went. How was it? Did you do anything cool? No, not really. Like, I don't know. like you got regular... snow and shit up there for Christmas. We don't have snow. No, we didn't have snow for Christmas. There was no snow. It's supposed to well, snow what's tonight. The point of living up there then? Yeah, I don't know. It's not by you. I don't know. It's, that's a good point, I guess. I don't know. What was your Christmas dinner consisting of? Uh, Christmas. Day, the dinner of the day. Well, was, I don't know. Uh, we only had one dinner. We just had a big lunch and then we just come home and. Well, we have like Christmas Eve dinner and then Christmas Day dinner. Yeah, we do that so too. Christmas... We have a Christmas Eve thing at my wife's family and a Christmas lunch with my family side. What? Did you have uh, any soup? Meal. You had soup. soup at... You had soup at lunch, probably right at at, at your family's. Wrong. No. All right. What, what's Christmas Eve? What What is your What is the meal at Christmas Eve? This year we reversed, and I had Christmas Eve at my mum's. Mum always cooks roast pork and roast turkey. Roast turkey sucks ass. I had a very small amount of turkey just to keep her happy, and then I pile up with the pork with the fatty crackling and the fats running down your face. And the roast vegetables is pretty good. So that you, you, and then you, you actually have, ate the vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mum does amazing roast vegetables. I don't know how she does it. Some sort of well, magic. Why, I don't. Know. You always shit on mine, but go ahead. Okay, so then. But yours looks bland. Hers have got oils and herbs, and yours looks plain and bland. With all due respect yeah, to Big Red's cooking. Listen, I'm also not on any medication, so you know. Again, I think you should but be on ahead. medication. So, 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 so Christmas Day. What's that consist of? Well, we went to Whitney's family, my wife, and her. Her family would keep it simple. It was more seafood. There was a lot of, uh, I guess you call them shrimp. We call them prawns. They're pretty big, like three inch shrimp. And you just peel whatever you want. There was crab and um, uh, they fried up octopus. I don't eat octopus, but if you're no. into that, do you like Do you eat octopus? Mm, I don't no, I mean, you know, not really. Like, I don't mind a calamari ring. That's fine. But to, to see the whole octopus, like, it seems odd. I don't, eat the whole thing. I don't eat it. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> but my wife does she eats all that shit fuck that shit mm. the kids eat that no, no. But you know what was good the bread they had fresh bread with butter that's my favorite food so i was wait, happy wait. Who, where'd the fresh bread come from they got it from the kitchen i don't know they made it no, they would have bought it the day before. It wasn't even that fresh, like the day old bread. If you get day old bread from the bakery, it's still okay. You're, nothing's open Christmas Day, so what else can you do? Well, what, do you no, bake I your understand. own bread for Christmas? No, no, not at all. But I, I, I mean, it's like white bread. I mean, just shitty white bread is what you had. Well, they had rolls, and they were good. Bread what? What's rails? Bread rolls? Bread rolls. Round red, red rails, rail? not not flat bread. Which what's red rails? Is red that you saying red rails? Bread rolls. Red rolls? Red rolls? Do you call them dinner rolls, maybe? What do you call them? Bread rolls. Oh, bread rolls. I thought you were saying red rolls. It's bread in the shape of a roll. It's pretty easy. Bread rolls? You're losing your hearing and your hair. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm happy with bread and a couple of prawns and 
drink some Pepsi Max. That's all I want. I don't want a complicated lifestyle like you crazy kids. You don't even have like a nice glass of wine with it or anything? Nah, fuck alcohol. I'm too lazy. If I have alcohol, I'll be asleep by four o'clock. Just makes me headachey and tired. I need to be stimulated about alcohol. So so you don't drink alcohol, yet you take a nap every day. So when you drink alcohol, you're still taking a nap is what you're saying? I I don't understand. But it's a longer nap and you feel like shit. Okay. Like I, I don't take a nap unless I've done a lot of exercise. Like I won't nap today. That's bullshit. It's raining. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. You, you're always saying how you're taking naps. Uh, I'm not having a nap you, today, you... brother. Uh-huh. Well, it's still early. What time is it? Oh, let me see. It's probably what? It's uh probably like uh eleven thirty. That's twenty past one in the afternoon. Okay. So you yeah, by the time you get done with this, you'll you'll be ready for a nap. I got too much to do. I've got big transactions going on in my life. My son Max just has been cleaning up his room and he's got this big tub of Lego and he made me put it up for sale on the buy swap sell, I don't know what you call it, marketplace, something online. And some lady wants to come over and give him twenty dollars for it. Well, so I've got that to wrap up. What's she We've look been like? cleaning up for two days. It's fun. What does what, what she look like, the one that's coming? I don't know. I assume ugly. I assume any woman buying Lego would be ugly. Like what hot hot 20-year-old babe's going to be buying Lego? Not, not likely. So you think she's like older and birthed a few kids and... And she'll be fat. The husband, I guarantee you, she'll husband, be fat. The husband's lazy, so she's got to look for used toys. So she's going to come yep. over by you. Yep. Uh, she's going to be fat and poor. 20 bucks, huh? 20 bucks. That's righteous. Pretty big that's righteous bucks. You interested? Wait, that's 20 yours or 20 American? 20 mine. So it's probably about. Fourteen dollars American. Ugh. He's got too Why, much he Lego. Do... Mm. It's all under his bed in these plastic tubs covered in dust. So once you do it, you've done it. You don't want to rebuild it and fuck around with it, do you? No, no, no. Yeah, let it go. Make yeah. some money. He's got about ten tubs under the bed. So we're doing this is our test sale tub. And I want to get rid of it all. He's keen. He wants to put it towards a, an iPhone when he gets older. I don't let the kids have iPhones till they go into high school. How about like a dirt still... bike? Get him a dirt bike instead. My wife would never allow him to have a motorbike. Oh, she She's too anxious about safety. You know how hard it was to get her to sign on to him playing like football, full contact, no helmet, Australian style football. Dude. She would. She had the biggest tandy over it, and I had to promise he'd have all the safety gear. And now she's more relaxed, but it took a lot. Oh. I mean, you got to. He's got to do something like that. Got to get a quad something, right? Why? Well, it's because again, it's it's you know, it's a rite of passage for a for a man. You start doing that stuff as a young guy. Yeah, I just had a tractor to play with. I didn't have no quad or trail bike. I had a tractor. Well, still, that's at least it's something. Yeah, it was pretty fast, too. It was a Fiat, and it had eight gears, and it had a front loader on it with hydraulics, and I'd knock down little trees and make bike tracks for my BMX bike and ramps. It was great. All right, so what else you got? All right. Well, I need to talk. I'm very angry with your wife for getting me banned off Twitter. Like, why? She provokes me with these breakfast fruit picks, she, and I'm yeah, the one who that? gets. I'm the one who gets suspended. How am I suspended? Yeah, That's but first of all, you. Yeah, but first of all, you guys have it wrong. It, 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 
any eggs that are in any of those pictures, those are my breakfast. She, that I love her. She, she's an awesome cook. But when it comes to eggs, I'm finicky, and you got to do it just right. And I, and now even Big Lou, he won't even eat her eggs. So pancakes, French toast, all that kind of shit. That's all her. What it, eggs? Those are that's mine. I mean, yes, she buys the fruit. But why are you chopping up fruit? Are... You just doing that to agitate me? No, you honestly it's... like fruit for breakfast. Yeah, you see, if you were not suspended, you would have seen the other day that I tweeted out there was an article about again how beneficial eggs are for you, especially ours that are homegrown and you know not all that shit given to the chickens in the you know that they eat and then you know not having a lot of bacon which i don't and then you know you can sprinkle in you know some other goodies with fruit and stuff like that and you're living large and you're not on medication so that article said you should sprinkle in a little fruit i think so i'd have to reread make, it but you're making that up man I think you're on the payroll of big fruit. Fruit is life. Yes. It works. I don't have a sweet tooth. I just don't care for that. I don't want anything sweet for breakfast. I don't want your maple syrup pancakes. So I don't want you, anything you, sweet for you, breakfast. You're, you're, you're drinking soda. Yeah. But it's lemon yeah. soda, so it's not that sweet. It's more sour. It's like a, a a fruit derived soda flavor. Oh, so it's fruit derived. Oh, okay, fruit. I get yeah, it. Yeah, lemon, yep. citrus makes sense, mm -hmm. but not actual Ooh. fruit. Fruit's lame. It's sticky, so we'll, it's messy. So, so we'll so we'll take the fruit and we'll put a lot of chemicals in there, and then hey, here you go. That drink and this you instead. make it better. That's right. Exactly. Okay. It's superior now. Thank you. Well, and again, you, you, maybe if you weren't so mean in the tweet about that fruit, you you wouldn't be suspended right now. But that wasn't I me. That was you, that was me giving you life coaching. Yeah. What did you? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Somebody was just asking that tonight. What? What? Yeah. You said I should use the knife to off myself or something, right? I wouldn't say that. No, no. It was just like a. It was a metaphor for ending that part of your life and moving forward with a more positive pro soda stance. Oh, okay. How often do you drink soda? Uh, I don't know. Like you're saying like, like once a week, like do you buy a can? Um, no, like I very rarely like buy it like in a store, like maybe so if we're how out. How does it get to you? Well, oh, like, like a, a restaurant. A, yeah, maybe there, but yeah. I don't, so what would you like, get? Like a glass of what? Uh, it depends on where we are, what where we're at. Most of the time, I just get on sweet and iced tea. But you know, I don't know the the one. Uh, Hot dog place we go. I like having a uh, birch beer there. That's a good. That's a good one there. And that's a soda. Yeah, yeah. it's a beer. No, no, it's soda. It's like root beer. It's... Have you ever had root beer? No. You, you we we only have ginger root... beer here, which is that's like soda? the ginger root. But we don't have root beer. Really? Without we Dr. just drink Pepper, others. You have that? No, not really. It's pretty rare. You can buy Dr. Pepper. You can't buy Diet Pop, Dr. Pepper, or any of the flavors. Just Dr. Pepper, regular. I'm not having all that sugar, man. That's too crazy for me. <laughs> you know, with the diabetes. Why well, you 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 got the the beaties? No, my blood sugar is perfect. I don't want to get oh, okay. it before that fucking no, fruit, so... fruit sugar. Wait, why is that stick making that noise? Who are you whispering to? Uh, my phone was doing something. I think she's walked outside. The cameras are going off. Um, 
the uh, nah, they're hibernating. Um, yeah, oh, so yeah, no, so not, not 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 very often. Hey, I got a question, dude. I was watching sure. True Detective season four last night, and it's based in Alaska, and it's okay. cold as shit. There's snow. It's bleak. It's horrible. I don't understand how you people live like that. Because you'd be inside a lot, wouldn't you? Like it's weird. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't live in Alaska or nowhere near it. You you probably it's live all snowy than wasteland. Me. Look, the point is, she's driving down this road, and there's a big ass polar bear walking and looking at her. And, and I thought, why isn't it hibernating? And hey, if it's snowing all the time in Alaska, how does it know when it's winter? I don't think polar bears hibernate. Well, they're a bear. Yeah, but they're made for the cold. Oh, right. So there's different systems of bear sleep. Yeah. Oh, so like the, you got the, the, Yeah, like the grizzly and the in the with the black bears, they they hibernate. Like our bears hibernate. You know, the, koala you, bears you know, don't hibernate. Well, it's because it's it doesn't get cold like it does here. Well, it's subjective. It gets cold for us. Well, that's not saying a lot, but. So did the bear eat um... her or no? Nah, just looked at her, wandered off. I don't Hmm. understand the point of it. I got a question from Max G. He wants to know how Big Red Sister's going. Um, I I really don't I really don't see her that often. I don't when know. did you last see her? Uh, oof. Mm. Uh, um. Oh no! What do you think the last time I saw your sister? Yeah. I lost your hat. All right, but when's it like months, right? I don't even know. So I don't know, months, maybe, maybe I don't even know. Six months ago, maybe a year ago, I have no idea. It's important to stay connected with family. Bye. Why is that? It just keeps your wife happy. She doesn't care. You know, my wife talks to her sister five, six times a day on the phone and they see each other about every second day. I don't even think I could say she talks to her sister five or six times a year on the phone. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't think that's bad because the more my wife talks to her sister, the less she talks to me. So I think that's a good investment. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, she doesn't really like talk to me anyway. Well, what it's, would you? After, after 30 years, I mean, what has she got to talk to me about? Hey, you fuck your breakfast up by putting hot sauce on eggs? No, she does sometimes. Hey, aren't you? Are you part German or just Italian? Uh, Part German. And part Italian. Part Italian. So I was thinking about the Jewish tunnels in New York, right? You Uh know, they're tunneling everywhere. Yep. Is it possible that they could be tunneling under your property to access your Nazi gold? Because Mussolini's Italian. He was a close friend of Hitler. After the war, you've got this beautiful country estate out in the woods worth billions you're hiding gold on that property for sure. Nazi gold. You can't. No way here. It's not possible. You you can't, of the you rock. can't dig. The, yeah. You can't dig down. You you dig down two inches and you're you're hitting rock. Yeah, you got not machinery, you got those big tunnel boring machines that Elon Musk has. Dude, they build tunnels all over the place for roads and buildings. Well, you know. 
Well, there are a lot of, I'd say, tunnels, aqueducts that take the, our beautiful water from up here in the mountains and it goes Not possible. down. To, you couldn't dig it through that stone. It's all through the bed. Well, yeah, but they, yeah, they have the tunneling stuff. I don't have that. I don't have that. Yeah, I have a fucking shovel. But the Jew dudes will. They can tunnel and get your gold. Haven't you been watching yeah, the news? Forget. Yeah, but don't forget where they're where they're tunneling down there. It, it's it's all like say it's it's not like it is here. Yeah, but they it's have the Apple capability. Minority. You gotta think about your security for your gold. Hmm. Why should send you it don't to worry you? enough? I'm a poor man. I can only afford chicken salt. Yeah, I'm gonna send you some more chicken salt, right? You know, it was funny when you said that. She had just asked like two days, like a day, maybe a day before that. She's like, "Did you ever ask him to send you some more?" Because you know we're out of it. I was like, I, "Not really." I said, "Because I don't know." Last time we tried sending something over there, it was going to cost like $150 for a small box. Yeah, but wasn't that during COVID when there were less flights? Yeah, but is that all is that's all taken care of? They're, you figure that they, they prices hardly ever go down on anything. I'll have to try I again. I tried. I'll, I'll check it out. I know the local post lady pretty well. Her name's Karen. What could go wrong? Well, you know, you put that charm all over her and maybe she'll, you know, take a couple of bucks off the package. Yeah, I generally just trash women and she laughs and um, that's the other way, you know, be funny. Hey, now, you I wanted to ask questions? you. Go ahead. What else you got? Yeah, I, I haven't been watching podcasts or listening to podcasts, comedy podcasts for uh, maybe six months now. So I don't know what's going on. And I see shit on Twitter about Stancil fighting with Kumia or Gino. Do you know anything about that? What's going on with Stancil? Um, I have not listened or watched any type of podcast probably since about August of 22. Oh, you're worse than me. Who's going to update yeah, me? On what's going on? Hey, yeah, because it's it's nonsense. It's it's just I don't know. I listen to a lot of history podcasts, but um, the comedy podcasts have become too lame. Yeah. So I mean, I I see what he, he you know he puts out. I mean, I see that he's yeah. doing you know he's doing a show with Opie or maybe more than one. I mean, I give him a lot of credit. He he's he seems to be everywhere, you know. But yeah, but he's not I, living in his mum's garage. Where's he living? Is he homeless? Is he li sleeping in a Subaru? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. That that's it's it. You know, we've heard. We've heard. I mean, he said when we mentioned the garage, he's not there. But he does not mention where he is. I mean, they are putting up all these homeless shelters now and encampments for the migrants or the illegal aliens as we like to call them. So yeah. maybe he got a deal maybe he got a deal with that. You know. And he kind of looks like he's Arabic. He's got that greasy dark hair. Yeah, he yeah, he looks very yeah, he looks very like uh foreign. Yeah. So he could fit in real good. He could. And they're usually short, and he's short, so you know that kind of goes along. And there he too. loves he loves women with big fat butts, which, as you know, is disgusting. Yeah, but sometimes I think that's like a work. I because you know, is he really into that? Is he really into women? I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. You know, have you ever seen him with a woman? No. Well, he had no. the fiance, but. When you go back in history, when he yeah, used but, to go but, on the burning you, bridges, he'd say he would never sleep with her. Yeah, and we never, we never, we never saw, we never saw them together. We never, you know. So again, is it 
is it a work you know it's like wink wink you know i like here's women the, and I, here's the other thing though i can't see stancil keeping anything secret so if he was gay i think he'd be just openly gay yeah, but I think that he said that enough. I mean, you know, the three man Connecticut shower, it that's real. Uh, I know it's real. Well, so you maybe, never shower maybe... with your mates. Well, I can't talk about that. <laughs> but I need with my therapist. You know, maybe what it is is like in our minds, we're trying to say that it's not real, although he's he's saying it all the time. I mean, I, I, you know, there's a famous picture of us all standing there. I'm holding a shirt. I'm gay. Yeah, I know. Well, maybe you're you know, all I gay. We, I think we laugh it off and like, <laughs> he's just being funny, you know, but it's like, no, I really think he's trying to tell us something. And I mean, we, we'd we all be supportive. We're fine with it. Yeah, I, I don't care because he's not going to fuck me in Australia. Well, I mean, you, you guys. Your cards right. I don't really like playing cards. You got to sit for a long time. Yeah, I have no idea that stuff. Well, you can't play cards or you don't enjoy cards? No, I don't know how to do any of that shit. What about the casino? You play a bit of blackjack, poker? Uh, no, the only time when I, when I went, we were at a conference and I went with guys who knew how to play. And we we sat there for hours, but you know they helped me out, do this, do that. I don't know. Like I would never go on my own. Math. It's just math. Yeah, I don't, yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I don't really care enough. Well, you don't owe money. I don't owe money. You don't enjoy money, like winning money, the excitement of winning money. No, because the excitement of winning is also you know you're gonna fucking lose it. So. I don't know. But that's the excitement, you know, the risk. It's exciting. No, I'd rather just make money and just keep it and buy something I want. I don't know. And that's why you got all this gold bullion. You're rich because you're a smart saver. Yeah, just and not, and not, you know, it, it's like, you know, the, the lotto, lottery. I don't do that. Scratch offs. People do that shit. I don't do that. Unless somebody yeah, gives it to you. It's too much pressure. If someone gives me those scratch-offs for a birthday, I get furious and let the kids do it because it's just a job. You're making me do work and scratch shit? Fuck off. I don't do that. Like I, we, we, we won $50 worth at like a fundraiser thing. $50 yeah. worth of scratch-offs didn't win a dollar out of that. Yeah, it's a scam. And how how is that even possible? Fifty, fifty. So, I mean, maybe there were some two dollar tickets. So let's just say, you know, probably thirty tickets, thirty something tickets in there. Out of thirty tickets, not even a dollar that I want. So that's why I don't I don't bother with it. It's run by the yeah. government. They're gonna screw. They're gonna screw you. They're not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna give give you shit. So maybe if Trump wins the election, it'll be better. Well, my IRA it makes no difference, better. does it? Yeah. It doesn't really make any difference who's in power. Have you come around to my no. way of thinking? Don't even bother voting. No, well, I've I've gotten that way. Well, in New York, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like we, we like yeah, my vote does in in the the state like governor election or or the presidential. Yeah, it 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 doesn't it doesn't matter. Because I don't even think my the president area. has as much power, though. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, no, but that's where I get into, like, we go back when Obama got in, and we were just tweeting about this the other day, that Obamacare, like, it tanked all of our health care. I mean, I paid nothing at work for great health care, and that all changed. That was a yeah. huge change for us. Now it's like, I don't even know. I don't know. It's like, Probably. I suppose he's he's in the Democratic Party system. He's in the machine where Trump's more of an outsider. So as an outsider, he couldn't change anything as an individual because he had so much opposition and they just fucked him at every turn. But Obama's part of the Democratic Party corrupt machine. With that machine, they could make those changes. 
but an individual or a non <clears throat> non corrupt person can't really do anything. I think it's to the point that it's, it's so everything's so far gone. I don't know if anybody's going to change anything. They just make it worse. I mean, I don't see anything being better. They'll tell you it's better. And then, you know, they keep telling people it's better. And those people who believe everything will say it's better. But, you know, then you know, show me where it is. I don't know. No, it's definitely worse. It's shit. I mean, the price of everything, nothing's going to go down. No, nah, I and mean, you know, not if you keep printing money. Yeah, cars, houses, you know, all that. A anything you're buying, equipment, furniture. Do you remember know, in the fifties when a and an average factory working guy could own a house and his wife didn't have to work? What happened to that? Because we want too much. That's the problem. Everybody wants no, that's everything. That's part of the problem. I think that's part and of the problem, but I think they've made women have set the system up to force women into the workforce, and then if your wife doesn't work, you're you're behind with the true. incentives. Anyway, that gets me depressed. Let's not talk about that. Yeah. Hey, I saw um Baron posted that he was engaged. Is that a work? Oh, I don't know. I must have missed that. Yeah, they were, I posted see, a picture you know, like, of the partner with I, the ring on. Oh, I have to look back. You know, there, it, it seems anymore like there's a lot of stuff I, I you miss. Um, I don't know how all that works, the algorithms, whatever it is. I, there's a lot of things I don't see. So, yeah, it, I did not. I did not. When was that? Last week? A couple of weeks ago. Maybe, maybe just around Christmas time. Oh shit! I think really? that was the Christmas, but I, I, I never know if it's true or not. I need like verification. I'll have to go back and look. Yeah, I don't know. Can you do some research? Get back to me. Like, you know, I think out of a lot, of, most of the people, he's a pretty. I feel he's a pretty genuine guy. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think he would uh, put it up as a work. Maybe, but maybe, you know, he's a mischievous, fun-loving guy as well. He's just trying to fuck with us. I don't yeah, know. I don't, yeah. Because he used to be the yeah, guy no. saying, I'll never get married again. I'm done with that life. And now he's like a, you know, hand-packed husband. Well, you know, maybe, maybe, it's true, maybe it's true love. Well, that's unlikely, isn't it? Well, I, you know, for his sake, I hope so. It's it's a good thing. I don't know. True love, true love. He seems doesn't. He, he seems like he seems like a catch. I mean, you know, right? He does or she does. He does. We. I don't really know. We don't. I mean, she could be too. I mean, it looks like she cooks and she traveled with him, and she didn't kill him, and he didn't kill her. So I think that says a lot for the relationship. Maybe, but I think he's he's got all these heart problems, like he's going to die young. He's had like 52 heart attacks. And he told me he's a ticking time bomb. Yeah, so that's well, why maybe he travels. That's why. And, well, yeah, that's so why maybe she's going to get him himself. insured and just scare him and he'll die and then she gets the money. And, and the truck and the camper. Yeah, open your eyes. And then come on. And then and then she could set up the uh the Starlink and then tweet out from the middle of Yellowstone. We That'd be kind of weird. Dog still shit. I gotta see where the dog's shitting. Yeah, but you know, what do you what would you rather see where the dog shits? Or don't forget, we used to get the you know, Stancil used to send us those shit shit videos. Yeah, I didn't so, enjoy that. So pick your poison. Which one would you rather have? The I'd rather see the dog. It. Yeah, because it yeah. was always somewhere nice. Yeah, and it's always tasteful. Like, you're not getting a close-up of the shit at the dog shitting in a distance. But Stancil, it'd be, it'd be pretty personal. Oh, yeah. I always wondered how he got those shots. I mean, I mean he, did, he did, he did, I guess you could say a good job, but like, 
I mean, it was there. It was close. It was right. It was right in. It was right there. It's genius. I don't know how he does it. He should be a cinematographer. I couldn't film it. I don't know how he does it. I think he did. So now, like, like we've seen some of Rick's photos. And, you know, the, I wouldn't, listen, I like the guy and everything, but I wouldn't say they were tastefully done. At least stencils, you could somewhat say they were, they were tastefully done because, you know, you didn't see a lot of the other stuff going on down there. So how he was to able see to. Anyone's penis. And I have seen Rick's penis. I mean, it was, man, when it was all infected and like a mushroom. <laughs> I cannot see that. No. Well, you know, hey, listen, I got to see stupid shit like that all the time. So, yeah. He has sex a lot with his wife. At least they still are into each other. Really? Yeah. I'll give him that. I mean, mine, she don't want nothing to do with me. I mean, go away. Well, I've been enough. But you're a hideous looking man. I am. Are you fat still? That, listen, that of course I am. But that that's why that's why all you guys you 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 rate all these girls. You go on about that's that's not that's not what we see. That's that's you know it's it's such fantasy. Like give you a, a real woman that you're gonna see every day in the street. That's not too bad. You know, I know you don't like ones over 31 or 29, whatever your number is, but but that's not reality. So so give me something, you know, a little bit more, you know, reality and be like, yeah, that's pretty nice. Reality sucks. I live reality. I see reality. I don't want to fucking live reality. I like fantasy. It's more interesting. Have a dream. I don't see I don't see. I don't see that. I don't. I don't see it that way. It's nasty, nah, man. Like you've got to have some Fucking dreams. Sport. Like you think about what would I do if I had all this money, or if all I could pick any of these hot chicks. You can have a dream without it, without expecting it to be real. Yeah, but most of those ones you put, they're they're not hot. They're, they're fucking spray tanned. Whatever they they need to eat a sandwich. Uh, I mean. To, yeah, to, that's know. the problem. It's it's trying to find if you put out there all the hot chicks, it's boring because it, you know, who cares? So it's the ones on the margin that I find fun because you're like, oh god, Jesus, and you have to really think about it, zoom in, make a game out of it. Yeah, but you, where's you, your you, sense you of had, fun? You've had some recently that, like, I, I don't even know. You you've really kind of you went the other way. Couple last ugly. week, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying, you know. What else are you going to do? Saying... What else is fun to do? You know, the, you got sport, you got girls, you got cars, fixing shit. There's not much else in life that matters. No, it's Maybe about patting it. the cat. How is the cat? Gilly wanted to know He's how the great. cat was. Was there something wrong with the He's cat, a... or he just likes the cat? To Gil, yeah. Did he want? He asked to find out how the cat is. Is there something wrong with it, or he just likes the cat? I think he wants to eat the cat. The you, cat's you, pretty you fat. Now you're you're the... fat too. So don't don't even tell me. Don't make fun of me because I'm fat right now. Uh... If I'm fat, skinny, but I'm not fat either. I'm I'm in between now. Yeah, I've been losing weight. I've had to get a new belt because the old belt kept falling off. And then I got a new belt. One? I got a smaller belt, and I was on the second hole of the belt. And now I'm on the sixth hole of the belt, and the pants hmm. just fall off. I've got no ass, no thighs. I have trouble getting pants on. It's a big problem in my life, pants. I don't like putting pants on. It hurts my knees. You get them on, they might fall off. I don't what do you mean it shit. hurts your knees? What, what do you mean it hurts your knees? 
You know when you first put on your pants in the morning, you got to lift one leg into the pants? That hurts my okay. knees. I'm old okay. as shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> I hate putting on pants, dude. I fucking hate it. There's got to be a better way. Well, you should be able to put on you... pants without lifting your legs. How often do you put pants on? Like when you get out of the morning shower and then after your well, first. You, well, what about shorts? When you, you, you're you saying shorts are pants or are you saying long well, pants? They are shorts. They're short pants. That's what shorts are. Oh, you, you're you just saying. So you're just saying you, you have that much of a problem putting a pair of shorts on? Yep. I hate it. Jeez. You're worse now, I can work out in the yard. Digging out roots and cutting branches and dripping in sweat, covered in filth. Six hours, no problem. I'm happy. But you make me put on a pair of pants. I'm a, I can't handle it. You get like at short of breath when you try to like get one leg in, and you're leaning against the like the hallway, or and then you no, it's and... just your lower back hurts, your knees hurt. You don't know what it's like to be this age. Huh. That's a good thing. Do you still walk regularly with Annie? Yeah. Today I, we, we, it's as cold as it was today. We we went up and I don't know. We usually do, uh, well, I usually it's over a mile walk. We do we take her up the road and back. It's not very far. You don't break a sweat. Well, not today. It was cold and windy. It was, I don't know, it was like not even 30 degrees out. It was 20-something here with the wind. You ever given more thought towards moving somewhere hotter? Nicer? She won't go. No. She what if Big she Red had a snowblower accident and died? Where would you live? Where would I live? I still got to take care of the boy. Like we're living together. We'll just say, you know, he's at the point where he's going to leave home in the next few years. Yep. So fast forward three years, he's got his own life. He's moved somewhere. I don't know where, where there is in there, but he's moved. He's happy. Where would you go? You got freedom. Yeah. Forget. I don't know. I haven't really thought of it that way because we've always thought like, where are we going to move? So I never really thought of it like she went through the snowblower and where am I going to move? Because she won't go. Every day. Every day I think if I murdered my wife, if I pushed her into the river and I never have to deal with her again, what would I do? Where would I live? So you get to keep all the money and just move to a different property. And I think oh, I'll go up in the mountains, you know, get a freshwater stream, grow some shit, get a couple of good dogs, make some cricket nets. What a life. <laughs> yeah, but see, you, see here, you, you, like I still got to work. So I, I'm not just retired and and uh, independently wealthy like you. So that's always a concern. Where am I going to work? But you're getting so old, you won't be able to work much longer. Man, I'm a, and you I'm can live in the woods man. and still commute to a work. Yeah, I'm, I'm a I'm a white male in the United States. I, I'm going to have to work another 20 years. But you won't be able to. You'll be too frail. No, stop that. I can put my is pants on. You, is that why you eat fruit so much? Because you, you're worried about working a long time? We're working. I want to be able to, you know, make sure I could shit good, stuff like that. I want that all working okay. I don't want to be on medication. Yeah, what do you mean shit good? Who doesn't shit good? Oh, I see. How come are, you kidding? are you You? Yeah. You with all that fast food crap that you eat, you're gonna tell me it's regular. I, I yep. see what all these other guys put on, like, oh, you know, I blew up the toilet, this, that. I haven't I had don't a do any of that. Stuff. 
I, I haven't had had a solid shit in 20 years and they're only 30 something years old. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what goes on with these people. I think GI that's the track. alcohol. I think that's the alcohol, to be honest. You think? I don't Just know. remember my, my best friend, Mushy, kept shitting himself. And he said, you ever just shit yourself by accident? And I'm like, no, no, I never have. And he was an alcoholic. And <laughs> since he's cut back on the drinking, he does. I asked him the other day, he came into my house and he, um, I thought he, he was died. helping me put in. No, no, he came over and he was actually, ironically, helping me reinstall my wife's electronic windows. Her, um, her motor died in her car for the electronic windows. And we were doing that, having a chat. And I was asking him, do you still shit yourself, bro? And he goes, no, not since I cut back on the alcohol. So I, I just assume it's an alcohol thing. So he didn't stop. He just cut back. Yeah. But he got his ass tightened and he stopped shitting himself. He said he couldn't ride a, a push bike. He'd push down on the pedals and he'd shit himself. Did he tie a rope around his waist? It's not good. It's not good, is it? Oh. No, I'd be worried. I was worried for him. I'd say, I, if I was shitting myself, I'd go to the doctor and say, "Hey, I'm shitting myself." But he never went. Well, you got to deal with people like that. That that's not a good situation either. Let me tell you. What? Like, you got to deal with people who have shit themselves and all that kind of stuff. How often do you have a client? Do you call them clients? Patients? What do you call them? Patients. Patients. How often do you have a patient who shit themselves? Oh. I mean, you, you could probably see that at least once, twice a week. So what's the is the worst thing that disgust at the person, the visual side or the stench? Oh. Well, the the worst thing you got to worry about is if they got like like bed bugs and shit like that, because then you got to worry about you're gonna bring that home. So ah, like, there's see, some. I've never thought about so, that. so 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 like there's there's some places like that we'll walk into and we will not put our equipment down, like our bags and shit like that. Like, we but how do you do that without? But you have to put them down to touch the patient. Uh, yeah, but it, it depends on what's wrong. Sometimes you. I mean, you you may not you you don't have you can keep, you you'd be surprised how how much you'll you'll keep your equipment on your shoulder and not put it down. Yeah, right. Because it's either disgusting, you know, the place is disgusting, the house is disgusting. You know, is there bed bug? So, like, we were in a place uh, a couple of weeks ago where uh, it, there's a, a restaurant and they have on the property like a house where people who work at the restaurant live in this house. Yeah. So when we, we get in there and the, the, the cops was, he was like, yeah, just, just, just watch where you're walking. And he kind of like, you know, nodded down at the floor and there was like, cause the guy can't get around that good. And they probably have like a communal bathroom on the floor, like on each floor, maybe there's a bathroom or two on each, each level. And there was like buckets of piss just, all around, you know, the room. So like like Stansel's garage. Yeah, but I don't even think he I I, I you know it was bad. And, and you just see that and then you just you don't you don't put your equipment down. You just you don't put it down. <laughs> and was that patient or a man or a woman? It was a guy. What percentage of your patients would be from drugs and alcohol abuse? I mean, a lot of times that depends on, you know, the truck you work. So, and then the the time of like weekends, nights, daytimes. So usually, you know, day, days during the week, you don't, you know, you don't see it as much. But, you know, you get now later in the day, overnight, and weekends, you, you, you're going to see that. So, but you know, to, drugs to what degree? I mean, because everybody's on like mostly. Well, there's a lot of people that are on like psych meds, so they're either they're taking too much, they're doing whatever. Not even just you know, 
recreational drugs and alcohol. Yeah. That's why I don't really, see that's why I don't really care for it because I've had to deal with it like all all my career and just because I've worked, you know, trucks that you especially on the weekends and working weekend nights where you're just dealing with people, just drunk people, whatever. And it's just like, you know, from a young age, I've had to always deal with that. And I just have no tolerance. I just don't care to be around that because I have to be around it at work. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be around it. Well, you can only be around it if you're drunk yourself. Because when when I used to drink, that was fine. But once I stopped drinking professionally, I can't fucking stand drunk people. No, it it's annoying. They're, they are it annoying. Is, they don't shut up. And it's amazing how, as people get older, that they haven't figured out to not get to the point that they're annoying. Like, well, you know, think you're, old annoying. Enough, you're old enough to know, like, you, you need to stop drinking. Like, you need to stop what you're doing. Like, you, you're getting... There's like, no this way is... they realize how annoying they are. There's no way. No. Yeah. So maybe it's the insight they're lacking. I don't know. Yeah. I think about you a lot when some, when I do some of these jobs. I wish that you were with me to see some of this shit that goes on. Yeah, I'd be fired. I'd be I'd be sued. I know. It, 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 I just I laugh. I just was like, oh yeah, you, you know. Yeah, I say terrible things. Uh, I'm. I don't have the ability to not say it. I don't know how you like do we it. This, like we had this poor guy, you know, again, he was down, he was down the bathroom floor. He shit himself. He's got a lot of medical problems. And the wife, she's trying to do as much as she can take. And then she's in the other room. And yet we're asking questions and he's answering one thing. And she's saying, and next thing you know, they're fighting with each other in opposite rooms. And I finally just said, stop yelling at each other. Like, just stop enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you know. If you were there, I would have just liked to have looked at you to see what you would have said. Well, I mean, I've had, I've called women in professional capacity, you know, shut the fuck up, you can't, you know, and it doesn't always go down well. No, 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 it would not go down. That would not go down well. But don't act that way. Yeah, but, you know. Unfortunately, that's the way everybody acts today, you know, and then everybody's got a camera and everybody's video in and, you know, pops, you know, it's depending some of them, they have their video cameras on. And so, you know, it's, you, you gotta be careful. What I enjoy now is I work mainly with older people, four older people looking after their gardens or lawns or whatever. And, no one uses phones and they just talk to you and everyone's lovely and appreciates you coming. And I don't have to deal with that, dude. See, that's, what's nice. It's like one, one, one part, one truck I work is very much like that. Very more small townish and, you yeah. know, people are very appreciative and stuff like that. And it's, it's, you know, well, I need you to come you... and work with me. Because they're always offering me cups of tea, and I don't want to drink the fucking tea. Fuck your tea. Oh, so I need you I would, to drink the tea. Yeah, I, I would enjoy it. I, I would see, hey, what kind is it? We could have nice talk. Would you like what a cup of tea? Like? And I, I don't want to talk to the old lady with the tea. I go, oh, here, eye in the sky. He's right here. He loves tea, and you just you're and the I, tea guy. And I could talk to the older people. I'm good with that. Yeah, I would. I would. I totally be all over that. Yeah, I try. Well, that's why. I try to talk her into, you know, we need to retire and move over there. I said, you know, take our uh, little bit of uh, money we have saved up, sell the house, and uh, go. Or, hear me out, snowblower accident. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. uh, she, she's been doing it. She's been doing it a long time, so I don't know. Uh, she's You're pretty good with it. accident in, in inverted commas. You're not listening, man. Oops. I pushed her. <laughs> yeah, well, we see you huh? know, that always comes out. That always comes out. The next thing you know. Bullshit. And big big Lou owns everything because I'm I'm going to jail. Dude, the amount of people that get away with murder would be high. 
You don't think? I don't know. You watch those shows. I don't watch them, so I don't know. Did they get away with it? Does anybody ever ever get away with it? I think um, I think I read in America, the clearance rate for homicide is seventy percent. So thirty percent get away with it. How many percent get away with it? Thirty percent. Thirty. Yeah. Not those bad. aren't great odds, are they? Yeah, but most people are dumb, so you know you can. You're not dumb, so you be rule that out. And I think the smart move is, it's an accident. So you, they might suspect, but it's an accident. How do you prove it? Well, it's not like it's a wood chipper. I mean, it's a snowblower. It's not that big. Like you, you're gonna kill somebody. I mean, most people they stick their hands in there. I gotta be honest. I don't even know what a snowblower is. We don't have snow, so I thought it was a, like a wood chipper. Doesn't no, it like cut very... up the snow and puff it into the yeah, air or but, something. Yeah, but it's not that. Well, I mean, you, there, there's huge, but the norm, like the normal homeowner one, isn't that bad. Where you, where you're gonna kill yourself? I mean, you're gonna lose. I've had that, and even a buddy of mine that I work with put his hand down in there, and I had to. I happened to be working that day and had to take him to the trauma center and he fucked up his fingers. They're all crooked now. But well, <laughs> stumpy. Yeah, well, that's true. It's, it's it's dumb, you know. People are like, what do you like? And then there's safeties, and then the guy, my buddy, well, who is it? Oh, I I undid those. So you shouldn't be able to with the safeties, you shouldn't be able to put your hand in there when it's going. I put my hand in the back of the lawnmower when it's going because the grass might be blocked or the clippings. No, stop it. So I lift the flap and I stick my hand in, but I feel I know how far I can stick it in without yeah, having come a problem. On. You're one of those fucking people? Yeah, I just know the my limits. Is... I've still got all my fingers. Yeah, but it's always that Safety. one time. At band camp? Nah, man, safety's overrated. You don't need as much safety as what you think. It just takes that one time. Just really? don't stick your hand in all the way. Yeah, but... Nah, because then you... That's it. Oh. There, yeah, there you go. I mean, kind of see your point, because yeah. I never used to wear safety goggles if I was using the angle grinder. And then I got that metal splinter in my eyeball, and that was unfortunate. And you only got two. That's it. Yeah, now I wear safety goggles, and I have had shit go wrong, and it hit the goggle. I'm like, God damn. See, it was a good thing you had it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am think I'm starting to get more wisdom as I get older. Well, I used to be know, reckless. People like you is a job security for me, so keep on keeping on. Yeah, I think the um, the fatties are your biggest investment. Oh, the, the amount that that we see with that every it is it's staggering. You, you have no idea. But I like don't there's... like you demonizing KFC because fried chicken is delightful. No, it, all that stuff, I, I do not understand. I, I think some of you guys just troll me with that, that you eat it, that like fast food, that shit, that much. I just, I, I talk about it with like Big Lou often and he can't wrap his head around it either. I mean, we were trying to think the other day again. I, I really think, and as a family, the last time we had fast food was in 2020 when we were driving out to Montana. That's insane. You're not a normal person. That's insane. People eat fast food. It's fast. It's convenient. It's very popular. It, but it's shit food. You take that kid. You take him. He won't eat it. Like he he won't he won't eat it. You brainwashed him. That's all he knows. Now he thinks he's superior to eat your stupid hard water bread. But so, that doesn't make it right. You know, if he grew up in this family, he'd love it. Well, but that's because that's that's it. That's all he gets. I know it's a it's about life balance. Come on. 
No. What's the point of living I... forever if you can't have KFC? He was asking us, he was asking us the other, we were just talking about this yesterday, I think it was. Like even growing up, like, like we said, he goes, well, what? I said, we didn't, even when I was growing we didn't eat, we didn't eat fast food. I go, I probably, I never ate McDonald's, I don't know, probably till I was, you know, teens, late teens. I said, we just, we never went there. We don't get so to McDonald's just, much. I don't like it. I don't like chicken nuggets, full stop. I don't think they're good. You're always getting that shit. Yeah. I do get it sometimes, but it's not good. Like, it's not like, oh, chicken nuggets are great. Because I don't like the dipping sauces. It's all too sweet. And then a nugget on its own, it's it's pretty mushy in your mouth. It's not a good texture. But a piece of fried chicken, it still feels and tastes like chicken with a nice outer coating. Come on, man. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not into that. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I but never even that, because he was asking that. He was asking K, KFC. I said, no, I said, we didn't eat, like, you know. Now, my wife, she, when she lived down in Jersey, see, when she was growing up, there was more of that stuff there. She's like, yeah, we used to get, like, the big bucket of chicken, you know, with KFC and all that. But, like, at home, like, I don't think, I don't think I ever ate that as a kid. You know, like, oh, we got KFC. Have this big bucket of fucking shitty chicken with these fake mashed potatoes. Like, when you come to Australia, I'm going to film you eating KFC with me. It's going to be beautiful. I'm looking forward to it. I I wouldn't be able to. Like, oh, you could. Loosen up a bit. Don't be such a stiff. I'm not asking you to shower with me. I'm just saying. Eat KFC once. You're not going to die immediately of heart attack. Well, the only reason why I would like eat that there is because, like, when I see some of these videos, and you know, and I'm sure your wife's a lovely lady. I, I really don't know how she does it. I don't know if she knows that you put these little clippings into like candy wrappers and shit like that. But that does concern me, like. It would it, is it actually better that we're we would be going out all the time eating somewhere because I don't really know what goes on. Yeah, like my, if you're my, watching TV, my... sometimes I'll be watching the cricket at night and you're shaving the hard skin off your feet. You wrap it in an old candy wrapper. That's a funny video for Twitter, right? But like that's nothing to do with food preparation. Our kitchen is spotless. Yeah, but you know, you you say that, but how do I know that? Like, how yeah, I'm know? happy for you oh. to inspect the kitchen. Oh, is that is that? A, oh, is he, oh, is he have some nice garlic that we're, he's putting in that? Or oh, wait, you know, that really looks like it could be some heel clippings. You don't have fresh garlic. Oh. We just get it out of a jar. Oh my god! You, really? Did you sound like oh, my yeah. stepmom? Like. My stepmother-in-law, when she visits, she always goes and buys fresh garlic and she has a spaz because we don't have, like, the fresh garlic. And we just get jarred minced garlic. It's fine. We don't have a well, lot of garlic, of, though. Well, first of all, she she grows it and then dries it all. I mean, we have it all year long. So we don't even... Yeah, but we're not Italian. It. We wouldn't cook with garlic once a month. She's not Italian. If that. She's not Italian. She's not Italian either. But she married one. She's in the family. Hey. Yeah. hey Doing Emilio nice. with the garlic. Come on. <laughs> no. No, because no, that to me, any anybody that's got to put tons of garlic then in, in everything, it's again, it's in moderation. Then that just means you can't cook. Because if you got to put that much garlic in, then you, your stuff doesn't taste good anyway. It's a balance. That's why, yeah, you know, 20... Is- it stinks. A balance, like 2020, probably by about 20, I don't know, 2027, maybe I'll be ready to have fast food again. Join the dark side. Nah, I could, you know, it's just, that stuff it turns your stomach. You're like Dang. the Amish, an Amish guy, and I've got to introduce you into the world. You know, you, you spend six months with me, you'll be vaping, having KFC, laughing, life will be better. 
You'd be drinking why can't coffee we just go somewhere? Tea. Why can't we just go somewhere good to eat? I I I told you I had like coffee a couple of weeks ago, and you enjoyed it. So I t- it was okay. It was it's okay it was to funny. enjoy things. Just let yourself you know, right, be happy. But right away, the girl wanted to put all kinds of like, oh, I can do this. I go, no, just just put fucking milk in it. That's it. Like a little bit. Yeah, I don't like much milk, milk in it. But you know, that's I what I don't like about all. the cappuccino is it's all milk. It's all milk with the shot. Yeah, see, I Whereas don't know. Whereas a flat white, you add a lot of water and just have a bit of milk. It's a better balance. Flat white? A flat white's a common coffee in Australia. And I know it's not a thing up there. Yeah, but neither know. was chicken salt. And now you understand the benefits of chicken salt. Yeah, I mean, it expired, but I think we used it a few times. I mean, again, I don't know. What, what do you put it on? Yeah, French fries. But how we don't need to like, like at home, like French fries. Like I don't know. Like, like sometimes every... you get your your takeout and you get it home because it's all you about know? the drive through. Just hear me out, mm-hmm. and then you get it, and the the sixteen year old idiot didn't put any salt on the fries, and they're uneatable. You you can't eat fries without salt. Yeah, but first of all, we don't we don't we, we don't do takeout. The only thing we get is like a pizza. First of all, there's not anywhere else around here to go get anything. And and we're too far away. Nothing is going to it, it's gonna be cold and nasty by the time we get home. I don't even like pizza that much. Yeah, but you don't again, you you're not really eating pizza over there. It's, you don't know. No, we got good pizza. Billy Quinn, he's but my wife were like, oh, do you want to get pizza? I'm like, I'd rather just have toast. Fuck pizza. Fuck your tomato sauce. I don't like it. Uh, again, what's his name? Billy, whatever. He he, he does not to make pizza. He's Bell a great him. man. Oh, because he hasn't got yeah. the hard water. He doesn't have the hard water. That dough's got to be just right. What if I get some rocks and just crush them up in the water? Would that be okay? You guys probably, I don't know. I don't, you know, you have to see what your water's like over there. We'll ship some over to you. Good. We use river water. Can you filter it? Right. Treat it? What else you got? Because I got, somebody's got to go to work in the morning and it sure ain't you. All right. We'll wrap it up. Have you, has it been 23 minutes? Well, first of all, people are gonna nobody's gonna listen to this because they're just gonna be like it's just two idiots rambling on about nothing. That's right. That's the podcast. It's not meant to be entertainment. It's meant to be miserable old people whinging. Huh. You got no other question. That's it. We hit you hit all your questions, nothing else. No, I gotta go to the toilet and get this Lego sale done. I drink too much soda to sit too long. Wait, you got to, what'd you say about a toilet? I, I can't sit this long without going to the toilet because I drink so much soda. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, thanks for doing the podcast. And, um, oh, hang on. Just pretend I said this at the beginning. Welcome back to the Brown Snake interview series. Our guest today is. Eye in the sky. I. what's your Twitter at? Um, I don't know. What is it? I don't even know what it is. I don't rough know. R- rough Life 69, right? Right. And I'm Brown Snake 69. Good night. Yeah, okay. I got you. That's what See, it that's is. that's professional. You forget the intro completely. Shove it in at the end when no one's still listening. They don't teach this at school, you know. You should be writing this down. I'm making notes. Yeah, all right. Thanks, I. All right, later, buddy. Nighty night. Night.